Hi there people, VLN4. Just about to jump on the plane. Gonna be a mixed weather bag this weekend. So yeah, I think we have a little bit of wet, developed wet tire, and then also a bit of slicks to go fast and win some trophies, don't you think? So post Nervo Ring 24 hours, we lost Lucas Ordonez as a regular teammate, but inherited Jody Fannin instead. A uh, fellow British driver who have grown up racing with, uh, who started with Volkenhorst end of 2018 and graduated to the pro car this year, so great to have him on board. So the sky and the ground summarises the practice that we've had this evening. There's the sky. Not sunny, but bright. And there is the ground. Very wet. So uh, yeah, when it come down, man it's come down. But I think that's going to be a tone of the weekend basically. Good running in wet and dry for the car, unfortunately not for me, I was just on the sidelines but I've done loads of laps around here this year so should be fine. Uh, we're just watching the weather apps and see what happens tomorrow so nothing too much more exciting track wise to happen. However, we are going to the premiere of the Hell documentary this evening starring yours truly. So um, yeah, I'll walk you through the red carpet and uh, everything that's going on um, at 8 o'clock local team time. So. Um, yeah, we'll catch up at the premiere then. So this was pretty surreal, going to the Ring Boulevard cinema to watch a film about me and the Nürburgring. Proper premiere, lots of people there, quite nervous to see myself up on the big screen, but pretty damn cool, I must admit. Here we are, in the auditorium. Popcorn ready? Front preview ready. Der Nürburgring. Seit 1927 hat der Rennkurs inmitten der Wälder der Eifel den Ruf, die schwierigste Rennstrecke der Welt zu sein. Tio hat ihr den Namen Grüne Hölle gab. For more information on the Hell series, make sure you check out the link in the description below. And then, after zero running in practice on Friday, it was straight into qualifying. 0,3 Sekunden schneller als Manuel Metzger. David Pitter, der kommt zurück, hat auch absolute Sektorbestzeiten. Der wird jetzt die 8 Minuten Grenze knapp erreichen oder drunter. 7,59,7 für David Pitter im Walkenhaus BMW mit der Nummer 34. Das ist der blaue BMW aus dem Hause Walkenhaus. Also die 8 Minuten Marke ist, wie schon zu erwarten war, bei VLN4 schnell geknackt worden. Yeah, but, but we have a code 60 on the track. So, congrats. I didn't know that. Yeah, brilliant then. Perfect. My second pole in VLN uh, in 12 months. The, the lap was uh, timed really well. So Max, my engineer, sent me out perfectly. The car has proven it the 24 hours and the rest of the VLN series this year has been very, very fast. And uh, I'm glad to reward the team um, and PlayStation, all of our sponsors, the Yokohama as well, uh, with pole position. Das war das Polsetzer Interview mit dem Teamchef Henry Walkenhorst und äh, wir machen eine klitzekleine Pause, geben jetzt einmal ab in die Werbung, denn danach we're, we're waiting for the other cars on P2, P3, P4, but this guy, uh, he was the first in, in the grid. David Peter, once again, you're the Polsetzer and you see no car in front of you. What can we expect from the race? What do you expect? Uh, it's the stuff of dreams, going on to the Nordschleife with no cars ahead of you. Uh, Aufläuft. So, wish you uh, a nice race, have a lot of fun, oh, of and enjoy and hope to see you on the podium. Yes, I hope to spray some champagne at you. Yeah, ja, er droht mir mit dem, mit dem Siegersekt. Wir warten noch so ein bisschen. Wir so, having qualified pole position, I was really pleased. However, I did not get the start I wanted. And you can see here, the, my teammates on the left-hand side, not looking too happy as I slot into P2. I uh, didn't got, quite get the launch, I was a bit disappointed about, uh, but yeah, was happy to slot into P2. Uh, look after the tyres, it was quite a warm day, and we didn't have a huge amount of confidence that it would last, so I had to bring them in quite slowly. Um, there was also a massive red flag in qualifying, which meant the race was an hour, 3 hours 30, not the standard 4 hours. Cup 3, the Porsche class, heading down the hill towards the Bridget Exmüller, and they were just in their hairpin before that. Here come the leaders again to the end of the lap. And they are now in thick traffic. Top four almost together now with David Pittard just recovering a bit of time. 
that time around. It'll be interesting to see the lap times. 8.05 by Bachmann, the leader. 8.05.1, a little bit quicker by David Pittard then. However, a few laps later, after I got the heat in the tyres, I was able to challenge for first position. And once we got into the traffic, could use it to my advantage. And it turned out to be a super close, super tough race. So hold on and watch this. from Lubner Motorsport. So more headline news as there's a pass around the outside through Schwenkenkreutz for the, for the lead of the race. David Pittard overtaking Marit Bockman, who uh, presumably was embroiled in traffic, still is on the exit of Arenberg. But that was Schwenkenkreutz, and I think Pittard making use of the fact that that part of the track was resurfaced very recently. That's a, that's a video game move. That is an <laughs> absolute forza move around the outside. What a pass around the outside. That, I mean, that is that is full commitment round there. Yeah. I had to be careful what I said there. <laughs> but it is full commitment, isn't it, round the... Even when you've got a clear road, Johnny, you've got to be so precise round there. There was traffic, and he goes for a pass for the lead. Yeah. And they're heading now towards the cut-through. Hairpin, they're side by side. Pittard's got a great run. He's forcing Stifler up and over the curb. But Stifler, far from being hung out to dry there, he made sure that he got the inside oh, line for the next up. one. Well, yeah, wide through the first bit of the chicane. BMW now Weird. to the no outside. Way. Goodness me. Another outside pass from David Pittard. So this is Yokohama tyres versus Dunlop tyres. At the moment, the Yokos seem to be the ones to, to be on. When that car comes in, put the sticker on the rear window. Buffalo gals go round the outside. Two trailer park girls go round the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. Me getting frustrated because the Audi just drafts past easy peasy. Very frustrating. Around the outside, didn't need much real estate at all to make the overtake. Had to tuck back into line though because of a Renault Megan, which would have compromised his line. But the move is done well before Antonius Kuka. Yeah. All share a garage as the David Pittard BMW has to jink around the side of one of uh, the more production standard BMWs. Which makes way for the fast GT3s, and I'm sure Pittard peeled off to the right side to take to the pit lane. And yes, he yes. did. So uh, Stifler's in, Fabian Schiller's in, David Pittard in, that's your top three. All the way down towards pit out, and uh, it's Jordi Schechter getting in. No, it's not, but it's Jordi Fannin, isn't it? <laughs> so he has. So I ended up pitting P3 as the Mercedes was able to get past me to hand over to, to Jody. Uh, we had a, quite an eventful stint as I watched back the live feed. Uh, so we skipped to one hour to go with Christian in the car. Will be Christian Krognes actually, not very far No, he's not. He's the next car back, Johnny. Oh, yes, he is. There we go. Right. He's, he's really made up some time in that. There's a little bit of side traffic going on as they come under the Bilstein Bridge. And there is an overlap, but he's on the wrong oh. side. There's a touch. There's a touch at VMAX there before they go on the brakes into Tiergarten and that was another hefty clang from wheels banging off each other See, a little bit less than that yeah lap 22 as they go Ellis for the lead Ellis for the lead down Another the inside and audacious maneuver using one of the GT4 Mercedes as a pig has he managed to get through <laughs> Not quite. Oh, and he's out on the curb. He's now dropped out to third. Oh. Along the, the, the track. Here comes Krognes. Could we have a lead no change way. before the 34 actually comes in? He decides better of it because the danger there, of course, was the BMW was going to be caught on the wrong side of the track when he's trying to dive in the pit lane and the six car can happily stay out. So six That's continues close. on. Here comes the 34. Yeah. In the five. Makes sense. Last pit stop for a two lap splash and dash with tyres. Unfortunately, you didn't quite manage to nail the pit stop properly, which meant that even though Christian pitted ahead of the number two get speed Merc, he ended up exiting after the get speed Merc, which was, yeah, frustrating as P2 would have been really nice. Um, but yeah, we were comfortably P3. But yeah, one of those things, unfortunately. From fourth position, the next question is, what about... And there's a change in the pit lane. A big change in the pit lane. Not even close. Because it's behind the WRT yeah. car. You're right. It's yeah. a massive yeah. delay for Crockett. Massive delay. I, I, I flaps. This is the last lap. Yeah. It is the last lap. The chequered flag will be in hand when the leader comes back. 
next time, and, and the leader is nearly there. Yeah, Metzger clearly ahead and backing well and truly off, I think, to ensure that this is the final lap, but the clock is already at zero. There were slower cars to negotiate as well, but it's going to be Mercedes then who take this VLN4, the fourth race of the season, and Phil Ellis desperate to try and get through the traffic and get anywhere close to the number six car. He's not going to do it in Mercedes wow. number two, but it will be a second place finish nevertheless for Get Me Performance. Two seconds, the gap at the line, two seconds. And what about Christian Krognes? Well, it could well have been, it is a fastest lap of the race on the through final traffic. tour, through traffic, and he still gets an 802.368. Then we had this great cluster of cars in at the end of lap seven. Now, why the 34 BMW crew blinked and pitted a lap earlier mm. than the six, they may well be regretting that now. Uh, on to the third step of the podium. We've only got two of the Vulcan horse drivers, I noticed. Chris no, Crockett. Right, here is, he's lit. <laughs> ah, good. Excellent. Some of you may have picked up at four minutes 15 in the video. I threatened Lars to spray him with champagne. And here you can see me running off stage to go and get him. So a podium at VLN4 as well as pole position, which is mega. My second pole position in 12 months for the team, which is really, really cool. It's mad to think how far I've come since my first GT3 race here 12 months ago. Um, race was really epic for the first stint in particular and then yeah! <laughs> it's also cool to have all the boys here as well is that a pavlova <laughs> and i'm not wrong <laughs> also good to have all my boys here as well to see me uh, jump up on the podium mega wicked to have their support um yeah shame you missed out on the p2 uh, but P3 and Champagne and a podium is always good at Nürburgring. But now we are down in Adenau, uh, going to Pinocchio's Pizza for a standard Bitburger and Hawaiian Pizza post-race celebration. Ciao, ciao. And so to give the boys a proper Nürburgring experience, we obviously all had to get in the hire car, all seven of us, and go around the Nürburgring for a lap. Get ready for the speed. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking, oh, sending it up against the curb on the inside. Oh, up and over the curb on the inside. Oh, 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 Stones to the right. <laughs> Some back complex. Nail the curb on the inside. Oh, yep, turn it in. A little bit of curb on the inside. Use all the road on the way out. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a like. If you want to see some more content like this, please make sure you give my channel a subscribe. Make sure you stay safe, but also have lots of fun when driving tourist fun. Thanks. Catch up next time. Ciao, ciao.